All right, we got a retro repair today. This is the original Xbox, and as you can see here, this is the Mountain Dew Limited Edition. Uh, only a small number of these in circulation, and the thing about this console in particular is that there is something called a clock capacitor. Uh, this is how they keep the time and date saved when the device is unplugged, and unfortunately, the component that they use during manufacturing is a not rated at uh, very many hours. I think it has like a max of 2,000 hours or something like that. So anyways, uh, this thing will not keep the time and date correctly and these capacitors tend to just basically explode on the inside and leak all kinds of crap on all over your motherboard. So that becomes an issue. I believe it's the reason we're having problems with this one. So sometimes the disc won't eject and uh, it does lose the date and time, won't boot up properly. So hopefully we can fix that issue right now. These are relatively straightforward when it comes to disassembly and uh, be nice if all consoles were made like that, uh, made the way that this one was nowadays. Uh, so what we're gonna do basically is just flip this over on the back. And yes, this has been open before. I've done some work on it uh, a while back, but uh, you're gonna have a total of six T Torx security T15 or TR15s that need to be removed. There are one in each corner, one under this sticker and one under this sticker. So we'll get those out to start with. So if you peel this back a little bit, this direction, you'll see, and that one just popped off, but we'll stick it on when we get finished. And if you haven't already done so, just applying a little heat and getting some rubbing alcohol underneath these stickers will make them uh, pretty easy to peel back without causing too much damage. We're obviously out of warranty, but not really worried about that. All right, once you have all six of those out, we'll flip it back over. And we're just gonna carefully lift this case up towards us. And sometimes you gotta just work at it a bit. You can see it's kind of lifting off from one side. Just take your time and pull on both sides. Worst case scenario, give it a little push. There we go. And that comes off like so. Now we are going to uh, disconnect the hard drive. So you've got your ribbon cable here. This will just pull straight back like that. And then you've got your power here. Try not to put too much stress on the wires. We can kind of wiggle this out, and if you need to, you can actually pry this a bit, like so. Uh, usually if you just kind of go back and forth here. That will unplug. And then to take the uh, drive caddy out, go ahead and unwind these wires. And then we're going to switch from our T15 to a T9 for this screw. And then we'll have two more here towards the front. I know it's kind of hard to see, but if you go straight down here and here, there are a couple more. We'll go ahead and take this out first. Maybe you can get a slightly better view. This will just lift straight up, and there's your hard drive. Now you've got a screw straight down inside here. And one more on the opposite side. And then this just kind of kind of lifts straight up. And over this way, because we've got a couple more cables, we need to disconnect from the back, as you can see. One and two. 
and there is your drive now we have let's see we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten on the inside if I remember correctly that need to come out first thing we're going to do is disconnect a couple of cables so we're going to get this big one here unplug that and we have two down here and one more here to get this one there we go all right and this stuff can stay connected shouldn't be too much in the way uh, one more thing that's a total of 10 we have one more uh, cable to unplug here for the fan make sure you disconnect that yeah it's a little hard to grab that one Sorry, one more screw. Back here. Okay, so now up and towards the front. And here is what we are after. What we're looking at is this guy right here. So I've removed these before and they've made a big mess on the motherboard. This one doesn't look terrible. Like I said, since it's not keeping time, uh, it is time to upgrade. So I'll get this under the scope, swap that out, put it back together, and we'll be good to go. All right, so this is the guy that we're after right here. And this one actually looks pretty healthy, which is a surprise, but we are going to go ahead and replace it anyways. So quite a few ways you can do this. I'm just going to flip it over and use my big iron. Usually. Uh, if you want, you can use a solder sucker or whatever works, but I find that uh, wick is actually sufficient to get this dude off. Uh, basically, we're going to clear these of solder. Alright, so there you see, as long as you get all of the solder out, usually these things will be free. Ah, it might be stuck just a hair. Even push it with the iron. Get away from the edge. Okay, that one's free. Straighten that out. Bring it down a hair. I might have a little bit more solder left. Alright, that looks good. Okay, so, let's see. This guy should be moving pretty freely. There we go. And you can see uh, these are directional, so make sure you pay attention to where the lines are. And there's a line down the side of the cap. Yeah, this one doesn't look terrible. And I think we've got enough clearance to get the new one on. This tiny bit of residual solder we have inside. Right here. Alright, that looks good.
Okay, so we're just going to trim these down to about here. Might go shorter in a minute. Yeah, it's probably plenty. Get some solder on here. Hard to do this one handed. Stay there. Right. And I think we can go a little shorter on these. Good enough. Clean this up and then we can get it back together. Alright, let's get this dude back together. Again, just make sure that all your cables are clear. And the back goes in. Uh, basically, these go down into here, so you've got to do a bit of maneuvering. That goes right into place. We'll go ahead and install the screws. Make sure you get this seated properly. You will not be able to close uh, to put the cover on. These things have to go in just the right spot, and I don't know why. There we go. Sometimes they don't want to align for some reason. need a little more adhesive here that's about it for this one thanks for watching if you like the video please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you next time